Welcome to part two everybody. This is going to be a very short and sweet little video about me making and joining the front apron up. Now what I have here is a very rare, straight, stable and hasn't gone crazy and twisted itself to death piece of spotted gum. Normally spotted gum just moves all over the place. This piece has remained flat for over a year up in my roof rafters. So I've decided to use it and I'm doing a um, mitered lamination so that from the front it actually looks like a single piece you can only tell when you look on the side because I don't know even though the whole bench is made out of recycled stuff I wanted this particular part to to look okay if that's okay with everyone this is the front apron far out this stuff's in front apron. Let me show you this. This is a lamination of multiple pieces as well. I'm about to mill it smooth and clean. So this here is the front and top, right? And I didn't want it to look like a bunch of pieces glued together there. So you can see I've gone through the trouble of miter, doing a long miter joint there, then filling the rest in with bits of odds and ends. Oh, so I'm going to mill this up now. So, so I'm going to mill this up now, get it nice and square and straight and smooth, and attach it to the bench top, and then square up them legs. So I've got my edge and face flat, true and square. I've got it parallel now and square on this end here, which will be the bottom. And it's at its close to its final width. The last thing I'm going to do is just get the final thickness on it. And I want to just get as much thickness this way out of it as I possibly can. So I'm just going to keep going bit by bit till this face is flat and parallel to this. And all nice and clean and then I'm going to stop. Now I'm just going to trim it to final length. Alright so I've got my front apron here clamped to the face of my workbench and I'm going to join it to the front here. I'm going to use a uh, domino joint. Now this is my witness mark that just tells me that this first joint is just going to be the uh, domino's flush setting. And then the rest, I'm just going to randomly, you know, add a few here and there where I reckon I want them. And what I really want to do is um, avoid lining them up with any dog holes. Because if I do, it'll mean that if I want to drill intersecting dog holes on the apron, bad stuff will happen. Here we go guys. As abruptly as it started, this video now ends. But stay tuned, part three is coming very shortly. And thanks for watching and staying with me. Please like, subscribe, and do all of that sort of stuff that every YouTuber asks you to do.